Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. I think it is safe to say that the Warzone meta is currently in one of the best places that it's ever been when it comes to, I guess, just the overall range of weapons you can actually use. You know, there's a pretty good selection of weapons that can and will hold their own, but of course, there's also those few select weapons that just seem to be the most dominant and also the most consistent. And today, those are the ones we're looking at. The, uh, the best pro loadouts to use that really highlight the best weapons in the game right now. And also, keep in mind, come the Cold War integration here in just a few days, these are probably going to be the best Modern Warfare weapons in Warzone, so these loadouts are definitely the most competitive as it currently stands. So as we go through them all, if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new around here, we are working to hit 650k subs before the end of the year. So if you want to stay on top of everything going on in COD, feel free to subscribe and maybe even turn on those post notifications. Also, real quick, let's check out today's sponsor. Hey everyone, I'm excited to say today's video is actually sponsored by War Thunder. So, War Thunder is a military vehicle combat game that's available for free on PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. Plus, it also has full cross-platform play, so no matter what platform you're playing on, you can play with all your friends on these same exact servers. War Thunder features an awesome arsenal of over 1,700 military vehicles, ranging from tanks to aircrafts to ships from the 1930s all the way up to the 1990s. And between the selection of vehicles and how much variety you have when it comes to gameplay, it really makes it feel like every single experience or interaction is new and unique, which personally, I was a very big fan of. You've got PvP experiences, which actually have different difficulty settings, so if you want to play a bit more relaxed, you can do that, or if you want more of a challenge, you've got that option as well. And the game is always getting major updates every few months, featuring new vehicles, maps, and other new features too. So, to check out War Thunder and experience the brand new new power update, which features a new game engine, a revamped naval tree, and even a battle pass, you can register using the link in the description. And then also by using my link, you actually get a free bonus, including a premium vehicle and also a 3-day account boost. Once again, big thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video, and now, back to it. Now, getting into the loadouts, uh, first up at number 5, I've got the combination of the Ram 7 and the SPR-208, aka the R700. Uh, both of these weapons have been really good throughout their time in Warzone, but I feel like as of late, uh, each have started to appear more and more as I guess players are sort of catching on to just how effective they can actually be. I mean, the SPR is great for some run and gun sniping action. It's got great damage to the chest and the head. It's a one-shot headshot, so obviously that is super satisfying when you hit those shots. It's also pretty easy to use in terms of bullet velocity and bullet drop. And like I said, it's also pretty agile too. Then you've got the Ram, which is the best close range rifle in the game when it comes to overall TTK. I mean, the thing can just shred for days without any problem whatsoever. Now at a range, it does fall off a bit more, but then of course, that's where the SPR comes in and suddenly you got a loadout that's comprised of two weapons that honestly complement each other really, really well. So on the Ram, the most common setup consists of the monolithic suppressor, the Ranger barrel for better range and control, the commando foregrip for better control, the 50 round mags for easier finishes and squad wipes, and finally the VOK 3x optic for better visibility and also better control as well. Then on the SPR, uh, most pros are running the monolithic suppressor, either the 9.6 barrel or the 26 inch barrel, uh, sort of depends on whether you want a faster setup or not. If you do, go with the former, if not, the latter offers some more range. Then you've got the TAC laser for speed and stability, the Solo Zero SPR 28mm scope which is just basically like the sniper scope, then finally the Blitz stock for better mobility too. Now for the remainder of the loadout, uh, this is the same on all of my classes and on most pros classes as well. Uh, we've got EOD, Overkill and Amped for those initial three perks, but then of course swapping to EOD Ghost and Amped is usually the way to go after you get that second loadout. Then most players are either running C4 or the Semtex right now. Honestly, C4 is still great for vehicles, but then of course, uh, the Semtex obviously has more range, so I guess kind of pick your poison there. Then finally, we've got the heartbeat sensor for the equipment. However, stuns could also very easily replace that if you've got another squad mate that's using the heartbeat instead. Now, at number 4, we've got the combo of the MP7 and the Car 98K. Again, this is a class and a loadout that really complements itself nicely because you've got the close range dominance with the MP7. Uh, I would say it's probably the second best SMG in the game. And honestly, it can hold its own in some medium range fights too. It is uh, surprisingly good for an SMG, 
Then the car is very, very similar to the SPR. Uh, personally, I do actually prefer the car over the R700. Uh, that is just more so preference though, but the one-shot headshots are super, super nice. It's also a very aggressive sniper when it comes down to it. So here on the MP7, I've got the monolithic suppressor, as always, uh, the recon barrel for better range and control, the tack laser for speed and stability, the 60 round mags, then finally the icon, the stippy grippy. Uh, honestly, no grip is needed here just because the recoil is so minimal and I guess easy to control. Then for the car, I've got the monolithic suppressor, the 27.6 inch barrel for the best range possible, the tack laser for the same reasons as before, the variable zoom scope, uh, really that's just preference there, then finally, I've got the stippled grip tape once more. Now, moving on to class number three, this one is all about the M4A1. And really, for the secondary here, you could use any of the weapons we previously covered. Uh, maybe minus the RAM, you probably wouldn't want to do that. However, the MP7, the CAR, or the SPR all work great with the M4, as does the MP5 setup that we've got coming up. So, uh, yeah, you've got a lot of options there. But obviously, when it comes to the M4A1 itself, this thing has been one of the top weapons literally since the day that Modern Warfare launched back in October of last year. It was very dominant all throughout the year in multiplayer. Then in Warzone, it's always been a top dog just because it is very versatile and then also very consistent. So you really just can't go wrong with it. So here I've got the monolithic suppressor, the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel for solid range and control. Uh, honestly, the M16 barrel is also really good, but I just prefer the more lightweight setup here. Then I've got the Commando Foregrip, the 60 round mags, and the Stipple Grip Tape yet again. And uh, also, just a side note here, I think most people probably use the XRK Blueprint for the better iron sights as well. Then getting into loadout number two, the second best setup to run in Warzone right now, I would say is the Kilo 141, then also the legendary Doof Doof itself, aka the R90 shotgun. Uh, I mean, the Kilo is an extremely, extremely easy weapon to use, right? It's got almost no recoil, it's got great damage and range. Uh, really nothing new there though. Uh, any pros who are trying to win a tournament or drop an insanely high kill game are probably going to look at the Kilo as one of their first options. And then, the R9 o has just dominated the CQB engagements in Warzone for really months now. This thing is just nightmare fuel when it comes down to it. Uh, basically, if you run into it, you're probably not going to have a good time, right? Uh, but anyways, for the Kilo, I've got the Monolithic Suppressor, the Prowler Barrel for the best range and control, the Commando Foregrip, the 60 round mags, and then also the Blue Dot Hollow Sight, just because it is as clean as can be. Then on the R90, I've got the Choke Muzzle, the Sentry Barrel, the 5 milliwatt laser for better accuracy, unfortunately, the Dragon's Breath rounds, then finally the Stippy Grippy once more for better mobility. Now, finally, the number one pro loadout in Warzone right now has got to be the CR-56 AMAX combined with the MP5. Uh, both of these weapons are extremely dominant in their own respective weapon classes. I mean, the TTK, the power itself on the AMAX, just makes it stand out as a beast in the rifle category. And then the MP5 is, well, the MP5. As we know, it's been the best SMG in multiplayer and Warzone all year long, so when you take the best weapon in one category and the best weapon in another category and pair them together in one loadout, uh, yeah, I would say it's a safe bet that you're going to have a good time. Uh, also, real quick, before we go over the attachments here, just a reminder that you can try War Thunder for free by checking out my link down in the description below, and you can get those free bonus items via that as well. But anyways, for the AMAX attachments, here I've got the Monolithic Suppressor, the Zodiac Barrel, the Rare Ranger Foregrip is on here too, then I have the 45 round mags, and finally the VLK 3x Optic. And then on the MP5, I've got the Monolithic Integral Suppressor, I know, throwing a curveball at you. Then we also have the Merc Foregrip, the 45 round mags, the Stipple Grip Tape, then Sleight of Hand to round things out. Now, like I said in the intro, uh, of course, we've got the whole Warzone Cold War update coming up here pretty soon on December 10th. And I think in the coming days, we're going to be going over basically everything to expect and everything you need to know for that. But we're going to have this huge, huge meta update when it comes to that. But if you are looking to stick with Modern Warfare weapons, all of these that we covered here today are, without a doubt, going to be your best bet. But yeah, there you have it. Uh, with all of that being said, those are the best loadouts to be using right now in Warzone, and that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, or if you just found it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And, of course, if you're new here and you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, and pretty much everything else in between, this is the place to be, so feel free to subscribe and maybe even turn on those post notifications. 
As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a spicy discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, and Control Freak products. Then also, if you want to join the community Discord server, that is always linked down in the description below. And there you can get notified whenever I go live with a new video and or a stream over on Twitch. And you can chat with myself and other members of the community as well. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.